Hi, welcome to my channel about fidgeting, robotics and embedded systems. If you are new to this channel and or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe via the thumbnail in the bottom right corner. As you can see, um, this video is about um, Arduino, the Mega 2560, Mega ADK and the Yoon. Sorry, Uno. The Yoon is no longer in operation. Um, last time I made an effort to get all data which are coming from these two boards into this board and then via USB to my laptop where I try to um, process the data using the Arduino environment for uh, programming, the processing environment for capturing the data and the R language, statistical language for processing the data out of a data file. So let's get further with that and doing so via screencast. So screencast and you see various um, windows, camera, Arduino environment, processing environment, uh, RStudio and um, well, fishing um, with the boards and the exact route of the wires and then the schematics which is a bit rudimental but it's still uh, correct and of course this one is connected via USB for data in and data out. Last time I have um, changed this in order to get rid of some errors but last time that I tried they were uh, still there. So I will run this program again with which I read all data that is generated by the boards and then hope to get it in here in a nice way. Now I realized that everything is digital and how nice it would be to have something analog in it as well because digital is only 0 and 1 and analog can be anything within of course the 5 volts range or 3.3 volts range but I didn't program it in this project so that would be a nice addition if I get everything to run in here so first of all I run this program for some time and one of the things is that I should um, and I mean should get some info in out of it. So okay, here it is. I should have done it earlier. Anyway, uh, one of the things is also that I am getting this line a lot more than all the other lines, which is not supposed to happen. So I have to think about that. How that is possible? The other lines as, uh, are there as well. It is in the loop. The loop runs in the same way. So why does it happen this way? I have to find that out first. Otherwise I have nothing to do in here. So I decided to add something extra um, to the program, which is reading the elapsed number of milliseconds which I've done right here. So I'm reading and printing the milliseconds. So milliseconds reach it and I print it immediately. Then I am reading it from the board uh, into a file and this is the resulting file. Now I am actually reading one two, three, 
um, let's see, one, two, three, and four different um, numbers in sequence. So they should have different timings. And as you can see here already, the first one is reading 67, then 71, and 206, which is fine. Then it goes wrong. All 44. So they are all being read at exactly the same time. Which is next to impossible because a time elapses after so many milliseconds. One to be exact. Then back to zero and fine and then again exactly the same happens again around this thing so the big question is why does this happen anyway if I well the point is this is reading some um, 0 or 1 and this is reading 1 or 0 so what happens when I take out these lines ok um, quit upload again read again for some seconds that is fine and read again and now it happens with the UNO which is this one, the last one so there is something with the last line, the last reading into this one or the last, uh, well, actually the last um, thing that is processed, which is weird. So it's not this, it's not this, it's something else. Question, what? My suspicion goes here. Not only is my suspicion not being confirmed, it's even worse. This is the top of the file. 40 uh, 5413 same but in here 4073 so how can this be you can't you, you can't go back in time it's impossible that we know right now but how can this How can this go back in time? And this goes forward, this goes forward, this goes against back in time. 73 is later than 13. Oh wait, this is 53. Uh, this is later in time, but then again this is 45 and this is 40 and uh, this is 53. Um, this goes back in time. What more do I have? No. Fast forward in time. Fast forward in time. Forward in time. And that's the end. Something is very weird here. And I'm afraid it's no use to actually read in here. So let me just try. I do need okay yeah I need to do it here 
No, I first have to not shoot the data, I have to actually read it. And then I get that. More columns than column names. Still. So that's not a question which I had last time again. Apparently because of this. So this is a mesh or a mess actually. Mess. And R has a problem with it. Yeah. Uh, how to solve that? And just another try. I have now introduced count. And yeah, something very simple. Count plus plus. So count is count plus one. What is the effect on... Oh, that is not much. Not to say anything at all. I have to run the program again. Here's input. Run for a little bit. Stop. Now I have that's a lot. Count is four oh six, four zero six again or already and now I have here 406 really count to zero one two oh look uh, that is uh, very different I also have disabled the delay that is here. That's no longer working. However, there's something else here. No, where does no come from anyway? Here's null as well. Everywhere is null. Strange. Uh, the only thing that I have now improved is that Mega Fantasy 560 is no longer repeatedly uh, printed. But I do think I will have a problem with this one. Yeah, a different one. It did not. Line one does not have nine elements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine elements. So this is rubbish. This should be the same. It's rubbish. So as long as this is rubbish, this in R will not be red. Ow. Not nice. But how come? That's another question. I don't know yet. On further inspection of the file, I notice this. So I'll draw this down. Um, note count is 406 and time is 68501. And I'll have to do it this way. Lots of nulls and then time is zero. 
times 1, 31, 39. Time is being reset. So, somehow I have to eliminate all the nulls from the uh, set from the data but considering this uh, one element uh, nine elements per line what it assumes uh, <coughs> I also have to change this into nine elements apparently because this is only line one so yeah the question is how to get rid of those can I catch them can I catch the difference almost yep that's the difference gives a nice view of what's wrong but not the reason why it's wrong why where it's coming from i have to uh, take a look at it and there is this result i thank you for watching if you like this video and all my other videos please do subscribe to my channel via the bottom right corner um you can also follow me via twitter and instagram and please uh, support if you can if you want uh, which is possible via PayPal and becoming a patron. For more information, uh, see under this video, see it on my website, which is also listed under my video, uh, or the final uh, segment of this video. This is going to be continued, obviously, enough things to do and to improve. Um, for now, stay safe, take care, bye.